Good morning, church. Welcome to worship today. If you'll stand with us, please. Let's just let everything else fade away in the light of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Think about him. Worship him today. Let him speak to your heart in this service. Let's just sing together, join our hearts together in worship. Speak to me. You're the only voice I want to hear. prayer this morning. Let all else fade away. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't that great? Man, I pray that that never gets old to us as we be worshiped together. We gather together as the body of Christ, and we are so glad that you are here. Trust you've had a great weekend. It's been good, good and wet, but that's okay. But we're glad that you're here this morning. 
If you're a first-time guest with us, we want you to know, first of all, we're a really high-tech church, okay? And so no longer do we have bulletins we want you to tear off, but we want you to pull out, if you're a first-time guest, but pull out your cell phone, and there's going to be a number on this screen that we want you to text to. It's going to pop up any moment. Right there. Ready to go, okay? And all you got to do is text WELCOME to 270-232-2350. And once you do that, you'll get some more information about Hillview and opportunities. And there's a lot happening here. We I mean, want you to be, to be plugged in to, uh, to the mission here at Hillview Heights. And so we love what's happening. And again, we're glad that you are here. Uh, we're going to continue to worship. We're going to pray together. So let me invite you to stand. And I want to remind you, at the front and in the back, there's some communion stations. And as the Lord leads you, if you want to come and take part, to be reminded of what Jesus has done for us. Uh, I know a couple of weeks ago, we celebrated Easter, but I pray that we celebrate Easter every single day, every Sunday, to, be, to, remember, to remember what Jesus did. And that's what communion is. It helps us remind us what Jesus did. His, his body was broken for you. His blood was spilt for you. So this morning, as the Lord leads you, you just be obedient to that. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the day. We thank you that we can gather as your church. And I pray, Father, today that we would let everything else that we brought into this place that's not of you fade away. And Lord, would you speak to us today through your word, through your messengers? God, today, speak to our hearts. God, change us because we've been in your presence. And we do thank you for the cross. We thank you for your broken body and your spilt blood for us. So Father, today, change us and make us new. And we pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. was buried beneath my shame and who could carry that kind of weight it was my tomb till I met you and I was breathing but now failures I tried to hide it was my tomb till I met you you call my name sing it out and I ran out of that grave out of the dark
at the weight of your glory. I needed shelter. I was an orphan. Now you call me a citizen of heaven. When I was broken, you were my healing. Now your love is the air that I breathe. And I have a future. My eyes are open. Cause when you call my name.
We have the privilege this morning of seeing a young lady. Oh, she says it's colder than she thought. I told her it was warm. Uh, of seeing uh, JC express her faith in baptism today. And her brother was here just a few weeks ago, and she's been so curious about baptism ever since that point and has been asking a lot of questions and has finally uh, figured out what it means to follow Jesus Christ. And this is her mom, Brittany, and she's here to baptize uh, JC. And so, JC, I'm going to ask you some questions. JC, did you know that you had you had done some things that were wrong, and those things were sins, and those separated you from God? Yes. And did you ask Jesus Christ to forgive you of those sins? Yes. And are you ready to follow Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead, and you're going to follow him the rest of your life? Yes. Okay, it's upon your profession of faith that we now baptize you in the name of Jesus. Be buried in Christ and risen in Christ. Please pray with me for this, for JC and her whole family. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for JC. At this young age, she's so excited to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just pray that she will continue with this enthusiasm and that she will continue to show Jesus Christ in everything that she does. Lord, I just ask that you would bless this family and draw them closer together and let them continue to share the love and joy of Jesus Christ in everything that they do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, church. That's a reason to celebrate this morning. Amen? It's awesome. If you don't mind, let's uh, pray together for our time of tithes and offerings. Let's, uh, let's do that once again. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for what you, we've seen this morning, uh, for us to be able to experience you today. Uh, God, remind us that you are light, and in you is no darkness at all, that where you are, darkness flees. And so, God, whatever we feel like is on us, whatever we feel like is dark in our lives, let the light of Jesus shine in such a way that it disappears forever. I pray for this time of tithes and offerings, Lord, that you would be blessed and honored through this time of worship, through this time of obedience from your children. Uh, God, we thank you. We praise you for who you are and what you're doing today. In your name we pray. Amen. Now this, uh, after the offering bag passes you, if you'd like to stand and worship with us, you're welcome to do that. Let's continue to worship him today. Shadows can't 
Jesus, Jesus. 